Welcome fellow users and I am back. It is the new year and I've been off for quite a while. I've been real busy uh, with a ton of stuff but I am back and I got a lot to talk about and a lot of catching up to do. Uh, first off, I just started back work. I took a vacation as you all know um, right before New Year's. New Year's day was my very first day and I hit the ground running it was busy 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 so busy that when I had those three days off I was like I just I just slept through the whole days because I was so tired and then CES came right in at right after that and boom 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 finally it's over finally I'm off and I can take the time to catch up to a lot of stuff that I needed to do um this is going to be basically a little catching up to do, a little vlog entry, uh, what happened and everything, some things I want to talk about. Um, I definitely want to talk about CES. What a show this was this year. Amazing. My favorite company of all, Sony, they just knocked it out of the park. Just the 4K TVs, way better than the previous generation, just spectacular. Fourth 4K cameras. Oh, the new Xperia. Z1S that's coming out. Finally we get it. And for T-Mobile, I have T-Mobile and I have this crappy phone that I'm going to kill. I'm going to go office space on this crap because I have to hold it now with a rubber band because the stupid thing just won't hold and it's glitchy. It turns off whenever it wants. I can't do, I mean it's, the, the operating system is old. It's it's like after gingerbread or something. I can't remember. It's like, it's just not good. <laughs> and I want Instagram. I want to be able to buy it. I want to be able to do all these cool stuff with the phone. I had to have a good camera because I can't be carrying around this camera because it's not as easy to snap a shot, boom, 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 send it out to the, um, to the internet. So I want to get that. And the good thing is Timo has those, uh, those uh, things where you can, you have installments where you can pay for it. Beautiful thing. Plus, plus, I don't pay that much. I just, I just use the internet. Anyway, that. Uh, what else did they have? Oh my God, the. Uh, you gotta check this out. I'm gonna put a link. The Live Space UX. Oh my God, it's so futuristic. It's exactly how I picture my, my home to be in the future. Probably not very soon, but hopefully in the, in the next decade. This cool like little end table that. Uh, projects a, a short image, a 4K resolution, 147 inch screen, beautiful thing. And then they have this lamp that projects onto the table, and you can play with it kind of like Minority Report style crap. You know, you can look at your weather, you know, pictures, whatever. It's it's pretty neat. Uh, mirrors, like you, the mirror, you can see yourself, but if you touch it or whatever, you can interact, like read an article or something. I mean, who knows? Like they can make cool applications, like um, you know, you tap on it and they'll scan you or whatever, and they'll tell you your blood pressure. Or, I don't know, some crazy stuff like that. But it's pretty cool. Uh, what else do they have? Oh my God! They announced PlayStation Now. That is incredible. Just uh, especially since I've ever I wanted to get a Vita, and you've been limited by you know, uh, not being able to. Uh, like play certain games, but now you can play basically anything, and especially on the PlayStation Four. Now you can just stream it. This whole cloud gaming is incredible. How everything is being processed behind, and all you get is the image. I think that's probably going to be the future. I mean, especially even for consoles, like they got that Steam box or whatever. But uh, that's something else. Uh, what else did they have? Um, cool little wearables, a little pebble. Um, those. Um, those headphones which are waterproof, kind of freaky being a you know swimming in the in the depths and in the chill jamming with your 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 songs. It's interesting. Uh, what else did they have? Um, uh, that racquetball. I mean that, that that sensor in the bottom that you can swing around and it senses exactly where you hit and you're swinging. I mean I'm not a tennis tennis player by by any means, but it's just you know. Imagine if you use this for like uh, for 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 baseball. You can use it for baseball. You know how your your swing is. You know whether you're hitting it in the strike zone or not. 
I mean, that's they can develop that for a lot of other stuff. I mean, even golf, you know, golf. You know, a lot of people um, like playing golf in the U.S. You know, putting the adapter and measuring your swing. I mean, uh, they can they can do a lot of applications with that. Uh, what other stuff? Um, the TV, the cameras. Um, oh, the oh, oh my God! I want to get those, especially in future for this whole thing works out and I can get out and stop doing videos in my friggin' home. Uh, those little cameras, it's like the GoPros, but they're Sony and um, look nice. They have a nice little form factor instead of that kind of awkward square that they're GoPros. Let me get wrong. That's a great product, but this, I just kind of feel weird having it being a block. Kind of like everything streamlined, and these are nice, and uh, they capture broadcast quality video. They're splashable, so you don't have to actually have like a special casing. You you know, it might help with the with the image or not. I have no clue, but uh, it, it they look awesome. So that was it. See, as I put a whole bunch of pictures on my Instagram. There's a few on my Twitter. I'm on Twitter all the time, basically whenever I'm not off, when I'm working. I'm constantly digging through, you know, stuff and uh, responding, you know. I call them my uh, my red light tweets because I'll be driving, get a red light, check, oh, something happened, and I'll respond quickly. I get in 60 seconds that I got to uh, to drive off, <laughs> and I'll respond that way or take a picture and send it, boom. It's out, so uh, definitely, uh, I'll put a link down there if you want to follow me there. Um, on the Instagram, I... Do a little, I guess the only thing I get to do outside, take pictures of the strip, you know, Vegas, our surroundings, um, and stuff like that. And, and thankfully, because of Twitter, I, I got to meet a great person this week, which is uh, Adam Boys. I don't know if you know him, but you if you're a PlayStation fan, you probably do, especially if you were in this whole console wars thingy. They did that little, uh, they call it a trolling video. Because of the whole, you know, DRM, you can share uh, uh, games. They did a commercial with uh, Shuhei Yoshida and him, Adam Boys, where it goes how to. I'll put a link so you can check it in case you don't know. Um, you know how do you uh, share games on PlayStation 4? And it's so funny because it's just step one share the game. And, and, and literally, the guy goes, Oh, it's actually a kill zone one. <laughs> I just happen to have it there. He just goes, Here. You guys, thank you. <laughs> you know, and it's just you know it was that easy to share a game, you know, against with with friends. Um, I met the guy. I, I, he's tweeted something on Twitter. You know, he was here. I tweeted back. I'm like, oh my god, you're here again. You know, I just want to say hi. And he said, yeah, sure, let's do it. And I was like, wow, that's so cool, this guy. So I ended up picking up a, picking him up at the Venetian, um, and he said, I'm I'm out of here, man. So. The, we were going to pick up his bags. I think he was sitting at the Hard Rock. Um, it was like a good 20 minutes I was with him in the cab talking to him about video games, uh, about some stuff, what he was in town for. Uh, he did a little uh, play demo. Uh, he couldn't reveal the, the title, but he did tell me. But I'm not telling you. I promise I wouldn't say so. My lips are sealed, but it's an, the only thing I can say, it's an epic game that is coming out that everybody's talking and everybody wants to know and uh, it's going to be great it's going to be great i'm very excited for it probably more excited than all these other triple a titles that are coming um what else um i met a lot of cool people i met one of the uh, vice presidents for uh, astro gaming i had never heard about these guys i think i had met, maybe seen them once um, I, but I did probably might uh, missed it somewhere along the lines, but they make the uh, the headsets for the well, they make very premium headsets uh, for gaming. They um he, he this guy uh, I believe his name was Rob Jeter, super knowledgeable guy, true gamer. Um, he explained to me how they designed their their headsets and everything, and how. You know, with their competition, they don't. You know, I guess their competition is Turtle Beach, but you know, Turtle Beach has got the backing of some other, some other companies, or I think some favoritism from Activision, or whatever. But he said that at least they were they were back from the uh, MLG, which is the Major League Gaming, 
and um, that they were top notch. I said, "Cool, man, I'm gonna check you guys out," because I've never really played, uh, especially first person shooters with the with the headset. But once I did, wow, no wonder these guys are so pro. You know, they're really into the game. They're enveloped in not only visually, but you know, in an audio way. You know, they can. I'm like, I was coming, and how the hell did he hear me? I didn't know it was there. Because you can hear everything, you can, oh my god, he's coming up, especially when they use those, like those perks that you can uh, listen closely. Or though you make a, uh, more sounds when you're coming up. Um, I met other people from, uh, from Xbox, you know, <laughs> um, this one girl that was in PR, and she was like, mentioning how she was like 10 feet away from Major Nelson, and how he does his little shows, and, and he was part of the development team, and how he... Ended up making his whole, uh, you know, little show and stuff, and being recognized as part of part of the Xbox brand. Um, uh, totally other people, people in in the TV industry. Um, um, some people were skeptical about the new new 4K format. They're like, oh, it's just gonna be like 3D. You know, there's no there's no content. But, I mean, it's just beautiful, the, these pictures that you see. I mean, I went to the Sony store here in the Caesars Palace, and they do these pictures. And my God, they, they show a picture. Like, I think you're up in the Eiffel Tower. You can see all the way down to the street, the, the, the little people, every single little detail. I mean, that's freaky. <laughs> Usually, we just see, like, a little blob of a person walking, and now you can see the person I mean you could almost see their face if you wanted to but no it's just them you know I guess their their, their profile and the bag they're carrying I mean you can almost tell I guess what what uh, coffee <laughs> brand they're, they're drinking um, it's super super freaky but I hopefully that picks up and hopefully especially with the places you know they'll do that 4k because I think uh, we can't do it here or uh, they were saying like like in the discs to put 4K content on disc is probably going to be too, too much of an issue, like too much stuff. I don't know if that's true or not, but um, yeah, they would have to stream it or download it. That's that's another thing. Like this, um, hope we don't get any backlash from the uh, from the internet providers, because it's probably going to be like uh, a lot heavier, and especially if everybody's online. Well, everybody's online already. Having to deal with issues with uh, bandwidth and your stuff not downloading, you know, because certain places they share the internet. Um, so that was it. Yes, uh, I started my new diet. Um, incredibly, I lost. Um, I have my little notepad here. Oops, I lost about. I started at five hundred and twelve and change. I don't remember. I didn't write it down. That was like right before New Year's, and right now I am five hundred and three point six pounds. That's a little over eight pounds in thirteen days. I'm shocked. But uh, again, thanks to that movie, uh, uh, okay. sick. No, no, no. Fat, sick, and nearly dead. I saw that movie. Uh, thankfully, it was because I, I checked the Boogie second. Uh, if you don't know, there's a big guy, a big uh, like YouTube celebrity, Boogie two nine eight eight. Um, you probably know him. He has a second channel, which is for his like fitness and stuff. And uh, he mentioned it, and it caught my idea. It caught my ear, and I'm like, okay, let me go check this out. And Joe Cross, that guy is just a, you know a genius. You know how he how, like I've said this before. How he used his logic and his his problem solving to to to, to see what the real problem was. And it's great. I mean, I was supposed to do the whole fasting thing, but <laughs> I'm going to be honest, I kind of chickened out at the end. I had to write and moan because I was like, oh my God, no eating. So what I did is that I, I, I cut down. I did the juice in the morning, and then in the evening I started doing salads, you know, more, putting more greens and stuff. Because, like I said, you don't have to do it. You can just, you know, do a little, little, glass in the morning and that'll just benefit you because you're getting all those nutrients all that sun all that energy that your cells need and once they're satisfied they're satisfied you know and then just keep keep yourself on pace because i mean if you eat that much greens 
there's very little calories, and yet you you eat this little piece of meat, and it's full of calories, and yet you don't feel full, and you only have to eat more, and eventually you're eating more more uh, fats and stuff, you know. So thankfully to that, I've I've, um, I've done good. It's just sticking to it and not and not um, eating other stuff, um, just not having it in front of you. Also, it it really helps when you have family members that help you. Uh, they don't come here like, mmm, look at this lollipop, mm, or these chips, you know, stuff. I still do sneak in a, a Coke because I, it, it's just too, um, it's not too hard. But it's just something I like to enjoy a Coca-Cola. I've kind of limited to myself to one, maybe two, which is a lot, you know. I mean, I used to drink a two liter like it was nothing, you know, like like a, like a baby bottle. <laughs> but I've since cut that down, and, and I think that's helped, especially... Taking away the soda and that bad, that quantities. Um, uh, yeah, okay, so what else happened? Went back to work, CES, my diet. Um, I'm doing a whole bunch of videos now. Uh, I just recorded uh, some stuff at the Pimba Hall of Fame. Uh, this new uh, Star Trek table, I'm going to put that up. I'm going to try and go tomorrow to the uh, Flipper Street of Wonderland. That is a place that I've been. Dying to go do us. I was supposed to go on my vacation, but I had car problems and I couldn't go. So now that's fixed. I just fixed it the other day, and I'm gonna go over there and I'm gonna show you this cool place. This guy does wonderful stuff with the pinball machines. Especially if you like pinball, he he remote he redoes them. He he cleans them. They're spick and span. They work perfectly. They look beautiful. And it's just a nice place. So hopefully I'll have that for you uh, in a couple days. And what else? Um, some of the stuff, some uh, movie reviews that I've seen. Um, I'm going to put, put up some uh, some hearts on play. My second arena, see how that goes. Um, and I have a uh, video response I need to do. So um, that is it. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed. Uh, comment, uh, subscribe if you like it. I really need all your support, your feedback. It's very helpful. You know, spread a word. You know, hey, check this guy out if they like it. And then, you know, I'm just trying to do my thing. Um, again, I'm still trying to get my, my webcam. So I'm trying to get my thing. Finally, I got some uh, editing programming. I got a uh, Vegas Vegas Pro 12 or Vegas something. So I'll, I'll fiddle around with that. Maybe I can finally do a little some edits or something. Alright guys, thank you and end of line.